Believing that the power to destroy belongs to the Creator alone I affirm. That any theory which, when carried out, demands the annihilation of force, is necessarily erroneous. It is evident that an acquaintance with natural laws means no less than an acquaintance with the mind of God therein expressed. My object has been, first to discover correct principles and then to suggest their practical development. Order is manifestly maintained in the universe, governed by the sovereign will of God. After the knowledge of, and obedience to, the will of God, the next aim must be to know something of his attributes of wisdom, power and goodness as evidenced by his handiwork. The earth in its rapid motion round the sun possesses a degree of living force so vast that, if turned into the equivalent of heat, its temperature would be rendered at least 1000 times greater than that of red hot iron. and the globe on which we tread would in all probability be rendered equal in brightness to the sun itself. The animal frame, though destined to fulfill so many other ends, is as a machine more perfect than the best contrived steam engine that is, is capable of more work with the same expenditure of fuel. The most convincing proof of the conversion of heat into living force, vis viva, has been derived from my experiments with the electromagnetic engine, a machine composed of magnets and bars of iron set in motion by an electrical battery.
I have proved by actual experiment that, in exact proportion to the force with which this machine works, heat is abstracted from the electrical battery. You see, therefore, that living force may be converted into heat, and that heat may be converted into living force, or its equivalent attraction through space.